Should I mention episode one? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The beginning. Yeah, welcome. Genesis. Genesis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Genesis and as a closer person I would say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the Homeless Crusade. Uh, yeah, Luyolo. Okay, it's Dena. I'm Adil. Yeah, yeah. And I'm Kevin. Yeah. It's the fact that I have to literally look into the camera all the time. Yeah. You gotta let me be speaking to them. Although we're speaking to each other, we're also speaking. This to is them. like a uh, yeah. yeah, it's like a regular conversation, but like there's a fourth person. Yeah, but it's like only introduction stuff that we have to face here. Now <laughs> it's just gonna be uh, yeah. you know, okay. so it's fine. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. Um, okay. So I'm 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 genuinely curious because like I know that the podcast is called the Homeless Crusade, but I have no clue how this name came about. So I need like because well, I'm part of the let, I'm let part me just of the crew. First. Okay, so yeah. I needed to make the group most now, right? Yeah. So I just literally thought, okay, cool, Steez is not obsessed is a strong word yeah but like as, <laughs> please don't say basically it. like okay. his content ideas okay revolves homeless people go damn okay <laughs> oh. I'll well, go. basically damn. I, have, I have i have a weird obsession with homeless people like even the way that i dress and like they are put my clothes <laughs> together yeah like i literally be like oh that's a sick piece of clothing that homeless guy has i'm like yo bro uh, can i can i buy that from you and i literally mm. which is kind of crazy which those is are like conversations that you have with homeless people you're asking me if you can buy the clothes you can buy the clothes off their back <laughs> <laughs> no not all the time it depends like usually pants no it's usually pants like it actually happened once that kind of makes twice. it worse because i must take his, take his pants off me bro I ble- obviously i bleach them and i wear underwear but like no but i'm saying about the guy he needs to take his pants off now and he's homeless, so it's outside in the world. I was gonna say like, but I, I literally no, no, I was just a swap because like yeah. I, there was this other. Pants. Oh, so you'd give them your pants and yeah, take, okay, okay. And I also give them some coins because like there was these army pants, okay. like you can't find anywhere, you can't find them at the shop. Yeah, and I literally. So it's like, like a pair, like a pair of cargo pants, type of thing. Yeah, like original army pants. Oh, yeah. And it's like it's SA Army. Yeah, yeah, and this dude was Mike, and I was like, Mike, yo, run me those pants, mm. and I was like, yeah, you can have them. He's like, yo, you, you need a job, and I actually built up a bond with him, and then he screwed me over. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? How could he possibly have screwed you yeah, over? Bro, crazy. Wow. So he, he literally stole my clothes after because uh. I stole my clothes in the window house at home. So he literally came and like did the yard and, yeah, and everything. And I had like these fire um, corduroy pants. Mm-hmm. And like, dude, literally just like knocked them. And I saw him like weeks later with my pants. I was like, bro, you played me. <laughs> you played, <laughs> you played me. me. I mean, he's homeless, so he's an opportunist, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but like I wouldn't really expect you to do me like that after I'm like after you opened up and like, like that was like a mm-hmm. random encounter and yeah, interaction. Yeah. Like you meet a dude like me and I'm like, yo, bro, give me your pants. Yeah, you, like are you hungry? You, you know, I wouldn't Let expect. Me help you out. Yeah. yeah. So that dude literally done you dirty. And you know, it's, it's it is what it is. Though. But I was not talking about that. I'm talking about when we spoke about content ideas. Yeah, yeah. And what is the one that you pitched to me, or to Beja? Beja told me about it first. About the, the homeless Olympics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. so, where I stay at, right? <laughs> That's how this whole thing is. The homeless started. Olympics. So where I stay at, right? It sounds like a Dave Chappelle show episode. Legit. It looked, it looked, <laughs> it kind of was. Yeah. It, it sounds inspired by that kind of like thing. And a um, little Dave Chappelle show it episode. It kind of like, it kind of was inspired by Dave Chappelle, but like on the sense of like, I just don't, where I stay, I just don't like seeing like people. Where, where do you stay? I stay in Sherwood. Okay. So I just don't like coming around there and seeing people just sitting on the corner okay. and just like waiting for a, a bucky to pull up mm. and oh, yeah, they yeah. all run towards that bucky, you know? And whoever gets chosen, you get to... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, these people need food. No, they need yeah. like to eat. So I'm like thinking, like, how's it about instead of literally like going out to the club one time, it's like we put that money we had for the club and mm-hmm. literally just like host... host the Homeless Olympics. Olympics. And like, you can just do tricks. You can do anything. You can just like go to the jungle gym. Even the idea of like taking homeless people to the club. Yeah. <laughs> like I kind of bet that one the way. That's fine. That's like okay. a fire idea though. That's a fire idea. Imagine like pulling up to the club with a bunch of homeless people, but they clean now. They clean. Mm-hmm. Just like and then like you let them match the girls and see how many girls they can win. Yeah. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy for me. That'd Basically be like take them on like a mission, clean yeah. them up, whatever, give them clean like them up, a yeah. foot. Give them like clothes, yeah. 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 You know, and stuff. They don't have to literally look homeless. They just mm-hmm. You know, but like if he was in that situation, what what he what would he do, kind of thing? Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Like yeah. give him the opportunity, and then let's and see what, what what and th- tell nobody. Like give him yeah. some time to shine and tell nobody they're home. Like, like a body cam and stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be oh, fire. Oh wow, like, spy glasses. But like mm. the whole idea with homeless crusaders, just that's where the name came from. Yeah. That's why I named the group that. 
Ah. Yeah, which is which is which is still fire. And we try changing, you try changing, it, but I don't think we should change yeah. it. Though, which is it, no, it, it became natural, man. It just became like this organic thing that the name just kind of suited. It mm-hmm. just made sense in yeah. a sense. Yeah, and I don't like forcing things. So oh it's yeah, like easy. It was really chill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the word I get behind that. Though. So no, I, I think got it. um maybe we get into ourselves a bit. Like obviously, you want to explain the backstory of your nickname, do you? Maybe later. Why not now? Because it's quite, yeah, it's quite a long story. Okay. But okay, okay. Yeah, so the whole reason inside. behind my name is that I have a scar, obviously, in my face. Mm-hmm. So I grew up, like I grew up everywhere in PE. So we used to take what's like Kayla, right? Mm-hmm. It's like literally behind the church. It's like in front of it, just like behind the church. It's like a caretaker's house. It was okay. like after we moved mm-hmm. from Durban. So was you originally from Durban? I was born in... Uh, Peter Maritzburg. Oh, crazy. And then literally moved to Dorothy. So you were, are you a Zulu or are you closer? I'm closer. My mom is a nurse, so nurse. She used to bounce around a lot. Oh, yeah. Like if you get stationed in... Yeah, yeah so we were, we were sta- she was stationed in PT, PMT for from ni- 94 till 97, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then after 90, after we were, after I got born, we went to Durban. Mm. But when we came to PE, we couldn't, we didn't know anybody. We had no fam, so she managed to get a house like in... Was like hey, and I was pretty fire mm. for the first few months, and then we, I had the accident where I had like a whole pillar of bricks fall on me. Damn, you know? which is crazy. Intense. Yeah, it was very intense, very intense. Because I remember how it happened. It was just like I, I was like, like it happened. Like, like you were literally watching the bricks fly. Like that's yeah, a, bro. A, like a core memory <laughs> for you, basically. Like yeah. it's something that you not think about, uh, think about often at least, or um, you don't think about it anymore. But it's just something that you remember from your childhood vividly, basically. The, is what the, I'm the, the brick. Yeah, family. the accident. Yeah. It's like a part, yeah, it, yeah it's kind of my part of the reason why I am who I am. Your origi- origin story, basically. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's, like, it's like when the mm. spider bit Peter. Kind exactly. Of yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay. Okay. So like in the brick fell on me and everything, and I had to go to hospital, and I Damn. had to come back to school. I remember the first day of school, bro, I like had 50 people behind me. Like, what happened to you, bro? I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't know what's happening. Mm. And then they started calling me, okay. Mm. Like as a, a nickname, like to mock me, you know, Stena, mm. Stena, and I didn't like it for a long time. I used to hate that name. So, like, what is the what is the name derived from? Like, what is it? It's actually Stena is a brick. <laughs> oh, so it's actual, 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 actual brick. Actual brick. Oh, damn. Okay. And obviously, me being like interested in writing music, I was like, I need a rap name. Why would it be hard? Mm. Like, oh, Stena. Oh, mm. and then I started there, like trying to use. That's those, gold, actually. Those, like those we, yeah, yeah, those yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> those those that disc. The try, yeah, try to use that disc. Like this. Like to act to my advantage, and actually it stuck with me. People still call me Stena to this day. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty hard name. It's pretty yeah. hard. Yeah. Name. Yeah. No pun intended. Yeah, it is. Like, oh, because <laughs> of bricks. No, no pun <laughs> yeah. intended. Because like, because yeah. like I have like I used to write music. I used to rap, so I used to like literally put like rap uh, puns around it. I'm like, mm. ah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a hard nigga. I'm just solid. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I live. I live to the guys. I'm like, oh, that, that is like, actually. What are they that doing? is like. Yeah. Um, that is like. Uh, this. Approaching a little Wayne bar, yeah, so like you have to bro. think about it. Like, oh, yeah, because people ask okay. me, Why do they call you Stan? I'm like, uh, I'm just hard like that, you know. <laughs> yes. you know? It's like, I use those many things oh, you can yeah. play around it, yeah. so that became and the actual story is also a lot longer, so it's just cooler to say, I'm just hard like that and just yeah. move on with life. All right, yeah. backstory because, like, we in the club and I'm <laughs> no time for it, like, yeah. this isn't a place, Yo, yeah, hilarious. Oh, like one day when I was six, you know, mm. <laughs> which is crazy. I still remember them when it fell, bro, and I was. I was like, I had the opportunity to move, but I got so stuck, and I just looked at it come. Mm. And boom. And then I remember, literally, my mom picking me up. Mm. And I was like, That's whole, crazy. Like, the whole Hector Peterson. Oh, thing. damn. It's the walking yeah, and dangling. And, like, and I'm yeah. literally there. I'm like, oh, my Jeez. God. What, what the hell? If it's happening. I, I have a, a similar story from it, like, I was, but I didn't get a nickname from it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I was, like, I was, like, seven. And the na- we used to live in an area called Sanctor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, no yeah. Like, mm-hmm. around West End and stuff. And, um... Our neighbors had a house built on a foundation, but the foundation was like high. Like yeah, yeah. just to get to the front door, you had to walk up like a, a young flight of stairs. Yeah. So I would say that the house was built on like a meter high foundation. And then next to like basically the front stoop, they had a wall as high as the front door. So like that wall from bottom to top was like three meters, next quarter three meters. Mm. And myself and another friend, um, like, when you like at that point in time, like you could go anywhere, you could walk around in the area, nothing would have happened to you. So we were playing in the neighbor's yard, and it's still like that though. No. Think, apparently, Santo was think calm. So, Santo was ha- super calm, dude. Is it? Walk, yeah, yeah, I went to visit friends there, like that I haven't seen in literally decades, 
And this is like, like part, part, of, um, part of Westering, right? Not no, Westering, West End, right? Yeah, yeah. Isn't West End so, also calm? Yeah, no. West End is high. Yeah. West End is it's high. A, it's situational yeah. from you know, time If you know time. people around there, you can walk around there, you should be fine. But if you don't, they know. They can be like, that's, that's, nah, he's they not fine. They smell you. They yeah. smell you like, mm. fresh meat. You're yeah. sticking out, but bro. Yeah. Anyway, so while they were busy like extending this house on, like, if our front door face was, there, it was on the left hand side, so we just ran around the corner, like around the wall, playing. You could play in anyone's yard. Nobody yeah, really yeah. cared. Crazy. And I sat on top of this wall that was literally like in line with the top of the door frame. And I, I like you, so you can vividly remember yeah. everything. I remember sitting on the top of this wall. My friend was like, "Yo, be careful!" I'm like, "Oh, I'm cool. Don't worry." And typical PE fashion, when the wind just blows out of nowhere, oh, a my gust friend. of wind caught me, and I was dangling my feet off the side of the like not facing the stoop in the door, I was dangling over the other side, so like it's a three meter drop to like gravel, like driveway. And I'm chilling on this wall and the window's like whoosh, and I was like, okay, here we go. And I remember like, the trippy part about the whole situation is that I fell in slow motion to me, I yeah. fell in slow motion. Yeah. Bro, I, have I fell in little fun. slow motion. It really happened it was like, like that. I can see the ground approaching me and I'm like, okay, this is happening. And you're still mm. thinking, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, yeah. Yeah. the ground's still everything. coming, the ground's still coming and eventually like I fell and I fractured my left arm. Um, I was in a cast for like for like two months. And I was in primary school and it was at, uh, at that point in primary school where it was like, you know, you gotta, when you start sentences, you gotta use like two finger space and then write a word and one mm. finger space. Oh, okay, but yeah. now I got like- You didn't like, have fingers, you had a whole arm like, cast. And it was cast up until my knuckles. Like I was yeah. literally cast up from my, from my knuckles just up until my shoulder. Mm. Yeah, so like, and then I've got the sling as well because I gotta keep it in a certain position, right? So now I've gotta do the whole, th like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, you know, yeah, when Batman had the whole rubber suit and he had yeah, to yeah, like, yeah. do the whole turn like that. <laughs> but I'm like doing this because, like, you have to, like, <laughs> you start a sentence, I think it was, you start with a capital letter and then you've got to use two finger space and then you write the first word and then you use one finger space, right? Because that's how they teach you how to space things out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my teacher, I mean, she, like, I'll never forget her, Mrs. Blanky. She felt so bad for me. She was like, He's come to with those two fingers. She Shout was, out, like, she eventually, like, she was eventually like, you know, just, just write. It's okay. Like, I let it slide. Because you could see, like, I'm literally like, I can't do Strong, this. Yeah. Like this is not. That's wild, bro. Just yeah. having a cast alone. Yeah, it was a fracture in this bone up here. Yeah. But like, I don't know what. There was other things that went wrong because I couldn't really move my arm. And then I had to do this weird exercise where I had to sit with my arms out like that, and then I had to like, but only with the arm that was broken. Yeah. So like, I'll show you guys now. I'll turn to the camera. So like this side, I can actually touch my shoulder. Like I can yeah, actually yeah. scratch. Mm. But. Oh, I so much really oh, okay, like the mobility sense. so limited like, even because even if you try pushing it, it doesn't. No, like I like even if you try to push it, I would feel like you're gonna break my arm from over. God, damn. Yeah. So wait, wait, that happened wait, when I was so seven. Wait, wait. So that arm is like this one's long. normal. Like yeah, it's yeah. regular. Like I can literally scratch this shoulder and pinch mm -hmm. myself if I want to. But this side, I like literally. No matter how hard I try, like I can barely touch my shoulder with my middle finger. It's like, yeah. like you have one arm that's shorter and that one arm is longer. No, the, my arms have grown like this, exactly <laughs> the same <laughs> length. I've been to the chiropractor, so like all my body <laughs> parts are like, in my head. No, 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 all my body parts are like, because I've been to the chiropractor before for like things and she was like, oh no, you like, you just like. I don't trust chiropractors. No, the, the bomb, you should go. I see the you TikTok videos. They sound like no, the, the TikTok. The that's really that's excessive though. No, the like TikTok videos, it's for TikTok. Like I had to do code Noah and it was like, I'm like, yeah, bro, run me, hit me with the, hit me with the, <laughs> and that dude broke my neck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, it doesn't work that way. But you need to, go, they need to know what they're doing because like there's certain bones that are connected in a certain way, and yeah. they need to like put it back in I that mean, way. You, like, your your brother said he's studying to be a chiropractor, so he's not all the way there yet. Yeah, so like, it makes sense. But he, he told me, like, yeah, I'm like three years no. in this man. I'm like, yeah, but you know you're No, no, no. There's a reason my doctor, people who study anything in the medicine field do it for seven years, yeah, even if you were a dentist. <laughs> they study for like, It was wow. one of those nights where like, we were just being rowdy mm -hmm. and like, there's like people around. Mm -hmm. like, I dare you, I dare yeah. you. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like crack his neck quickly. Yeah, I and then, then no, I did wrong. you wrong. No, I really did you wrong. <laughs> to this day, like, each time I see you, no, I'm like, no, you know what you did, bro. <laughs> you know what you did, right? <laughs> you well, 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 you was like his first patient, even though it was on, like a so. night out, actually. I don't know. He was like, I'm a chiropractor. I'm like, yeah, bro. In training, <laughs> chiropractor <laughs> me right now. Uh, it doesn't work that way. I, I I will I always say this. I there are two types of doctors that I believe in because I know that they work. Yeah, yeah. Like dentists are one. Yeah, yeah. And chiropractors are the other because they are the only types of doctors where you could go into their office like now and leave feeling better. Like mm. you don't need to take some pills oh, and yeah, like yeah. give it that like a sense. week. No, 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 no. Like if you go to a dentist and she and she or he yanks it out now, like the pain is gone. Yeah. Like you just, the, the pain that's left is because they injected you in your gums, but like whatever was bothering you, by the time you wake up tomorrow, it's not going to be bothering you anymore. When was the last I time I went to the dentist? When was the last time I had happy gas? 
uh, I didn't have happy gas, but the last time I went to the dentist, I had my wisdom teeth removed, but only on one side because okay. I, I had an issue on my left hand side. And yeah, like when I say instant relief, yeah, yeah. instant relief. Yeah, I can imagine. Like, it was like, and I haven't been to the chiropractor in a while, but um, yeah, Dr. Doug Moore, guys, she's legit. But look at do they like yeah. at the chiropractor? Is it just like bone shits? Was it like do they do like no not muscle not muscle yeah, type, muscle type well. things as well like so then what's the, what's the difference between a chiropractor and and like you know the masseuse people well, like a physio yeah 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 so from from my experience going to both um, a physio deals with like mainly they do mainly do with like sports related injuries yeah, or like activity like related injuries so yeah. if you um, they know how to help you heal from an injury but with a chiropractor they prevent the injury like from, from getting worse because yeah. like you're like you 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 might experience like pain in your lower back and you're like oh it, like, it hurts mm. and you're like you don't know what's wrong and all they you they just go and like crack it out like wiggle you around a bit like get everything lined up and then you're like oh damn but what's weird is that the pain feels muscular yeah. but it's not but it's just because like you're like the one problem that i had when i went to the chiropractor the first time is like this is a cool trick that she did she has two bathroom scales like regular bathroom scales yeah but she's next to each other. And then she's like, okay, cool. I just want you to stand on them both. Like put one foot on the one, one on the other. So you stand on there. And what's weird is that if your pelvis, like you know, the bone over here, yeah, yeah. if that bone is even like slightly skew, mm. oh. you'll be applying more pressure on one foot than you are on the other foot just because of the way your body's like lined up. Mm. So before you have any worse injuries, like where you throw your back out completely and you can't walk, they kind of like prevent that from it. That's just from my experience of Going to a chiropractor and a physio. Yeah. I, I had physio on my left calf once because of b boying, and I did a b boy. Yeah, I used to b boy. Crazy. And I did a flip, but I launched wrong, and like it was kind of like a combination of like me doing something wrong with my Achilles and like just jumping weird. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this is painful. I didn't know that you used to b boy. Yeah, I used to b boy for like a long time, um, like years, but it's like throughout my high school career up until yeah. afterwards. But anyways, so because of that. I was the guy that used to, so when I was a b-boy, they used to call me kicks because I used to do a lot of like kicks in, and flops yeah, yeah. and stuff whenever I used to dance. Yeah, yeah. So that's where that name originated from. I mean, that's where like, I kind yeah, of used, I capitalized on it when I started doing art and stuff. Mm. Yeah. But one day I did this flip that I know how to do all the time, yeah, but like, but I just like kind of like, one day. I overcompensated this one day and I was like, ah, and I, I did this side flip, the flip that kind of was telling you about earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I did this side flip and I went and in the air, I could feel like, mm -mm. Mm, no, mm. Chai, chai. I didn't even land yet. And nah, like, I landed oh, and I went down immediately. And then I was like, yo, guys, this actually hurts. And one of my friends was there, he's like, yo, my aunt's actually a physio. Just like, come with me back to my house. I'll help. That lady, like I, I had a pair of um, shorts on, so it was easy. Like I yeah. just took my shoes and stuff. That lady grabbed my calf and did this whole thumb, like, like kind of working, like working the muscle fibers yeah. back to, and that hurt so bad but yeah. after after that like the, the next day like i could still feel like the pain wasn't from the injury the pain was more from her just like literally mm. taking a thumb and like grinding it into yeah, my, yeah, yeah. my yeah. calf muscle but there's a reason why they do all that because like the way your muscle because your muscles like expand and contract depending on what you're doing yeah, yeah. and i just did something where like i think there was like a conflict like one side wanted to do contract one side wanted to expand and mm -hmm. something just went wrong and she was like no nah, i can feel where you hurt yourself like she's like does it hurt there i was like yeah, yeah. that's yeah. That's exactly where it hurts. How do you even know? She's like, no, I can feel like you can feel there's like a knob. Like a, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she like worked that she out, and I was like, fingers. The no, reason, the reason why I'm asking around. is because like they always say, like if you go to a physio, for example, ne, and then the next day you wake up, you're in pain, or now you feel great. I think they say, but when you leave there, then you feel like you feel like terrible. somebody beat you up. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the same you thing with like, like massages and stuff. <laughs> they say they rub out the knots and stuff, and it feels so crazy. But then when you leave there, you feel amazing. Or like the following day, you feel like a new human being, right? I've never been to. A me also. No, if you're watching this, me. still on site, bro. <laughs> type stuff. It's, like, a, it's, it's a good experience jokes. to have because yeah, yeah. It really, it really. From my experiences, I've been to a chiropractor a couple of times, but I've always been to the same one, um, in Central, at PE chiropractor. Yeah, PE chiropractor. Doctor Dugmore. Central, she yeah. Is, yeah, Central. Yeah, Doctor Dugmore is the truth. I Why are you asking like that? Like, what's like wrong with Central? I've got a file with her. She's like, yeah. she's Central, my idea of Central. Yeah, yeah it's not great. Like, you know how most families have like a GP, like we only yeah, go yeah. to this doctor, Dr. Doug, Dr. Doug, Dr. Doug yeah, was like my GP for like chiropractor mm. type stuff. And like, um, from my experiences of going there and doing it, you should, at one point in your life, just do it. Like have him just do like a full adjustment. Just like crack your neck, crack your shoulders, crack your back. Yeah. 
and do whatever else, Maybe. and Maybe you'll I be like, should. yo, Maybe that's why I'm you like grow three yeah. centimeters taller. I also taller. think so. You legit. I mean, Ardell's already like a skyscraper. He'll be like three centimeters taller after that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But like I just imagine there's like fine. a like a refreshment factor that comes with it. Oh, That's what I'm expecting. Like yeah, if yeah. I were to go there, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm yeah, gonna feel yeah. amazing. You know? Yeah. Your whole mood change, Mark. Look, like after the next day or whatever, you feel like. Yeah, okay, oh no, you, you feel like a day. new yeah. person. Like you, you Maybe sleep I like. Yeah. I should go see. Yeah. Him. I'm probably thinking like the way I walk. I have like a limp. He goes like, yo, bro, you got the you got swag. I'm yeah, bro. Maybe it could be the scoliosis. Yeah, no, maybe it could like be a mild bro. case of scoliosis. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should, maybe I should literally, maybe I should bring me hit Noah up now and be like, maybe, yeah, he's maybe he's better now. Maybe he's got yeah, his papers he's now. Trained. But it's still on site though. Yeah. Oh, once you once he fully cracks up and you actually feel better now, and whoop his ass afterwards. That'd <laughs> uh, be crazy. That'd be crazy. That'd yeah. be crazy. Reach is better. Pull a, nah, this is good. Pull a mic on him. Mike Tyson. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, Mike, that's all. That's all your pants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like he helps you and while uh, after like, you bite his ear. No, no, no bite his ear. <laughs> <laughs> no, bite his ear. <laughs> like what? No. So well, actually, funny. Speaking of ears, like I noticed you've got a tattoo at the back of your ear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, I actually told you I wanted to ask you. Like, so what is uh, besides that? Okay, you said it didn't really hurt compared to like yeah. the other trip you took. You know, for the other other surgery you had. Let's mm. just leave it at that. Oh uh, yeah, you know what the oh uh, okay yeah 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 besides can't that, can't speak we can't we can't we can't, we can't, we can't divulge I don't want nobody coming at me yeah, we don't divulge but like so <laughs> I clearly uh, know that tattoos hurt because I've got like lots of them but first of all because you say that one didn't hurt but what does yeah. that mean because so see it's v, a letter V this is basically V loan it's a brand from America um, okay v loan and I literally I love like I'm big on fashion and clothes oh and crazy mm. okay so this is like my way of like paying homage because they did a South African collaboration with um Ricky Rick. Shout out Ricky, R.I.P. Ricky. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. yeah. They did like a South African collaboration where they like had the V with the like, South African flag. And oh, like, I wanted to buy it, gold. but I, when I actually went to go buy it, it was off, um, already sold out. I was like, so sad. Is it like, like affordable? Or yeah. Is it like. Nah, bro, it's not. It's mm. not like for one T. Is it high fashion or what? It's high street fashion. Oh, okay. So like one T goes for not not less than a, like a thousand five. Damn. Mm. You That's know? mad. So that T went for like the 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 friends he went for like I think it was two point three. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, and I want and I actually saved up. I actually really wanted it. I saved up. And when I actually went to go buy it, I couldn't I couldn't find it because it all sold out. It's like so no. I imagine like if it was like two two and some change were like hundred and fifty dollars ish. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't find it. So I was like, no what? I'm gonna spend this money and just get the tattoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I did that. And it was really not painful. Is it the only one you have? No, I have four. This is the one. It's also another fashion brand called Sicko by Ian Connor. Mm -hmm. And I have like an eye, of course, on the side. Oh, and crazy. The whole, the little mm. squiggly yeah, thing in the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Do you believe Palmer in Egyptian height. mythology? Are you guys interested in Egyptian mythology? I believe in mythology. I, I, I don't I'm believe, a fan but I'm Greek. interested. I'm a fan yeah. of Greek mythology. Greek and yeah. what's the other one? Uh, Thor and them. Yeah, Norse. Norse, yeah, Norse, Norse mythology, yeah, yeah. But like the whole, like they said, the, the eye of horse is like literally... Uh, no, they speak about like the the pineal gland, right? Let's be deep for a second. They speak about the what? The, the pineal gland. Like the third eye. eye. Yeah. Oh snap! Okay, yeah. So apparently, your mind is like shaped like the eye of Horus when you cut it up. Okay. Which is kind of crazy though for me. That like, is interesting in a sense. Like when you literally like dissect the yeah, mind yeah, yeah. and literally they, they show like you the brain, the yeah, actual like thing, the actual yeah, brain, yeah. not the mind, like the actual brain. Yeah. yeah. And then you literally see. Then it actually kind of does look like the eye of Horus. Which is kind of crazy. So, but why did you get that tattoo though? Like, what was it for? Uh, literally, and it's literally. I wanted it above the shoulder, as like always having an eye over your shoulder. But it's literally. literally yeah. I mean, like, damn. Uh, okay. It's pretty hard, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sick, but at least there's like reasons behind your tattoos, because some people just get them for vibes. Yeah, I want a lot of tattoos, but I just I can't vibe, man. My mom, my mom, my mom sits me down like, why do you have this? <laughs> tell her, no, tell her, hey, mom, see me, I'm inspired. Yeah, yeah. I feel like your your mom doesn't smoke or anything, man. Was a she, nurse. She she doesn't. She doesn't smoke. She doesn't drink. She had like a drink once mm. in her life. She had like a spin off, and then she never drank again. That like makes sense to me. I mean, yeah, she spin chose off. Sm yeah. yeah like, which, what were you drinking? Yeah. She doesn't drink. My she didn't like she start off with, like a cider. She went to the hard stuff instantly. Yeah, she was like <laughs> a, they used to call it a jive back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She used to meet like in a heap of places and like drink it there with the people from the entire time. And then she oh had, like, crazy. A, yeah, she's like a shot of spin off. She's mm. like nah. She instantly literally vomited. She doesn't even condone me drinking from mm. that. Like, I'm like, yo, man. Yo, no. girl. Mm. Yo, no. That's literally the last four letters of my name, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I think everything is orchestrated in the sky for me. So I just, just 
something along those lines. I was, no, I wasn't to know about the what that. Well, I think most of us would have had the same experience because I, well, eventually my parents just gave up. They were like, you know, yeah. well, my, not my dad. My dad was cool with it because my dad is like, my dad's an artist, and so am I. So like, yeah, for me to like ex- express whatever on my body, he wasn't like, he was meant to go and get one of the tattoos that I have as well, and it was meant to be like a. Like like an heirloom kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I, I went and did it first, and to this day he still hasn't done it. So I've got a symbol on my shoulder. Oh, that'd be crazy. Like heirloom a tattoo, like generation. Yeah. Man. So like when when my daughter turns a certain age, if she was like, okay, I want to get a tattoo, I'm like, cool, you want to do this one first? You want to do whatever you want? But like, yeah. I would like for her to do it as well. But if she doesn't, it's not going to yeah, kill that's me. That's what some people do, right? They yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of thing. like tattoo the. Yeah. So I've got like, I've got a lot. And like even she had something, my mom just gave up. She was like, yeah, you know what? So what was your first one? Among first, all of okay, I was brave with my first one. the heritage stuff or no? No, no, no. I was yeah. brave with my first one. So at the time, my cousin, um, one of my older cousins, he, he's also an artist. Like in my family, there's like just artists everywhere. Like yeah, if yeah, you don't yeah. paint, you draw. If you don't draw, you do something else like that. Like if you like, you like handy. DNA. With, yeah, you like yeah. it's in our DNA. You're handy with your hands. Like my dad, besides being a very good portrait artist, he's also really good at building stuff. Like he's excellent at building stuff. Yeah. So he watches like a YouTube video and he'll be like, uh, I can, mm. sure, I'm sure I can build. Oh, so he challenges himself also. Yeah, to all the time. But anyways, I have this older cousin, Andy. Yeah. When he got done the school, he was like, I want to be a tattoo artist. So my uncle bought him um, a tattoo machine and I waited a bit to see like what his work looked like. And mm. after he got like a couple of notches <laughs> under his belt. It, yeah. yeah, I was like, I mean, I was going to pay him anyways. I wasn't expecting it for nothing. So after he got a couple of notches under his belt, I was like, cool, let's go. So at the time, Greek mythology was like heavy. Yeah, yeah. Like, was, like, I was like, about the stuff like all the time. I was like watching the movies, yeah. like 300 came out and all yeah. that. I was watching all that shit, like I was like in it. And then um, I wa- the first tattoos I ever got were on my legs, on the sides. Yeah. I got, um, you know, the the messenger of the gods, they call him Hermes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. wings on his ankles. He has the, sh- with the strappy sandals with the That's wings what in they did also yeah. on, what's that movie? Um, uh, what? Percy um, Jackson. Percy Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got like Chuck the, Taylor's the Chuck Taylor's like, wings. wings. Yeah. That was fire. So I got that because like, in, in my family at that point in time, like I still had my granny with, but my granny was still around. And like, but like my grand, my grandfather and like my aunts and uncles, whenever they needed a favor or whatever they needed somebody or they wanted to trust somebody with doing something, I was the first person that they would call. Like I had older cousins and other cousins, but like they were like, no, tell Kevin to do it. Because yeah. if he does, if you tell Kevin, he's going to do it. It's going to get done. Yeah, yeah. So like, and that was who Hermes was to the Greek gods at the time. If they needed something done, they would send him. He would yeah. be the one to go and either fetch whoever or go and... And he was yeah. like yeah. super fast message. and stuff, right? Yeah, like he was like, was the ability. And then. Exactly. And like you were saying earlier, like with me, like when I say, I'm going to be there at 11, I'm going to be there at 11. Yeah, 100%. Uh, so, okay. So like, that was me. Because so I was, was telling, like, telling Kev like, you, bro, <laughs> you were telling me you're on your way. Meanwhile, I hear you, you the... the uh, the kitchen cupboards. Boys, yeah, like the <laughs> atmosphere in your house. That sounds like I think I'm one of those dudes. I'm yeah. literally that guy. Yo, man, I'm on my way. But like, so if, I say, uh, if, I say, if I say two, yeah. just like, half well, two, 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 three. Three. Not, three. not crazy, you know? Because that's yeah. like a bit. But like, yeah. sometimes I just have a lot going on, man. So I just, it'd be hard. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. But that, that, that's those good are the to f- know, actually. So the first that I ever got wasn't just like one. Like, you know, somebody would get like a five rent coin size thing yeah, yeah. somewhere. I was like, yo, I'm going to do one two this. wings on the same day at the same time. And, and that's literally, where are they looking? They're like at? on my, like down here. Yeah, yeah. I can't swing my leg on the table for the camera to no, see. But be, be. so, yeah, they're about like. They're I will like say though, that I will big. say. Yeah. I We just spoke earlier about like our 10 year friendship anniversary coming up. Yeah. Oh, and really? I did not, yeah. And I did not know you had that. <laughs> I know about all the other stuff, but I did so not know about the wings. My, no, no, probably not. No, really. Not really, no. no. Probably not. I don't yeah. think so. It's How not like a thing. 10 years and not see your niggas a dick. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What am I, I mean, fo- imagine his ankles? Why would I focus yeah, I on that? Like you know? Okay, okay. okay. It's, it's yeah. just me being weird. But so like fashion wise, I don't think Kev wears shorts. And I do, but like only you like. Guys, you guys not even have you been to the beach together before? No. No. Definitely not. not. Really, no. Definitely not. Friendship. We always either like hang out like at the dungeon yeah, or like yeah. at Ardell's place yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's that's mostly where we saw each other, anyways. But mm-hmm. yourself, that was those were the first. I feel like I was very brave for my first time because like it is people would get like something small, like a little symbol. Something. I was like, yo. Lost of these things because I like the, like a rough so your sketch. cousin was like solid at this point in yeah, time. Yeah, he was like legit. So I was like, cool, now we can do it. So I did yeah. like a little sample sketch for him, and I was like, cool, take this, flip it, and then I want one on each side of my leg. He was like, cool, mm. I got you. Went there one night, did it, and then because okay, he wasn't as experienced as he is now, and I also wasn't. Really, I, I was I was into art. I used to watch things like Miami Ink and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wasn't like super clued up on what tattooing and things was about. Yeah. So I didn't. In know. terms of what, yeah. Like I'll explain mm. now. So I, wh- one of the things I didn't know was like when you, 
you get a tattoo done, if it's something that has to be done in sessions, yeah, you've got to let whatever has been done first heal okay. properly before you go back and do the rest. So me and my cousin were like, cool, see you tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> so mm. I'm like, I've got these raw outlines of like these wings right now and yeah. he's going to do the shading the next day. So like I went through, on a, I'll never forget, I went through on a Friday evening, chilling, me and my other cousins, they were all just like fascinated and watching what was going on. So he did the outlines on the one leg. On his legs, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. So they watched him do the outline on the one, they watched him do the outline on the other one. And then I was like, ooh, this is painful, but thanks guys. Cool. My cousin's like, yeah, cool, man, see you tomorrow. Me, I'm like, yeah, brave. see you tomorrow. You brave, bro. bro. You're asking me if this was painful. Yeah. You're literally tattooing something on a bone. Yeah, and then mm. I went back the, the next time. day to finish it. And then it was just like, like just constant, because it was already like, it was still tender and raw from the day before. Yeah. yeah. And then when I did this one, um, this was the first time I ever had to do a tattoo and go back and finish it. Yeah. Where did you get that else, done? So do all we do all our tattoos at the shop called Nine Lives in um I think it's in Westbourne Road either way. It's yeah at Westbourne Road. So you know if you're coming up Albany Road, mm -hmm. you get to the robots like just before not the robots at KFC, the one before KFC. I you think I seen left. I think I seen yeah. yeah. They like in my opinion they're the best artists in B. Um, yeah. especially when it comes to tattoo colour tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I like that. Did you also I do the, like the, 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 the dragon there. Yeah. Spiral. So this one we they did the outlines and just the grey shading first. So it got this monkey. Ooh, that's yeah. crazy. Like it was only the outlines and the grey yeah. shading at that point in time. And I had to go back and do the colour. But like there was yeah, a yeah. month between those two sessions. Because like they were like, listen, make sure that you are healed healed before you come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I Told them, I was like, oh wow, so that's how long you have to wait. Because I once went for tattoos on my legs and I went back the next mm -hmm. day. The tattoo also looked at me like I was on crack. She was like, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You went back the next day? I was like, yeah, I went back the next day. She was like, yeah. you gotta let it heal first yeah, <laughs> and yeah, then yeah, you yeah. come back. So I was like, yeah. How does how is how the back tattoo? Is it not as painful? Because that's on your spine or no? No, no, no. It's okay. up, up like towards it. Yeah. Like the one and the first one I got was, okay, the first one I got was that symbol like our family's name in Chinese, yeah, yeah, yeah. on my left shoulder blade. And then I did a koi fish about the size of an A4 page yeah. on my right shoulder blade. It hurt when it came close to my rib cage and it hurt when it got close to my spine, but everything else wasn't that bad. Yeah. But fun fact to you, and again, this is like I said, I wasn't as clued up on tattoos yeah, yeah, when yeah. I went to get tattoos initially, because you know how there's this, like Cinder, you were saying, I got the first tattoos I ever got were on bone. Mm. So yeah. I was really brave. There are certain crazy, spots yeah. on different genders that hurt more than others. Did you guys know that? There is a reason why females can get tram stamps and it's a no big deal, but dudes don't do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. like a man's lower back, I don't know what it is. Like I don't know if we have different types of nerve endings down there, but dude, a tram yeah, stamp on a man. Oh, these days my back oh. kind of hurts a lot, and like it's it's. I, and I'm, I'm so sensitive towards that now. Yeah. Mm. So I've got two koi fish, one on the top side of my back, one on the bottom side of my back. But the one that they did on the bottom side of my back, it was like hitting like tailbone. Yeah, like yeah. pelvis type area. And that wasn't painful. Yo, I want. I I was that close to quitting. Like I've never ever tapped out of a tattoo, know, no matter how painful. Getting tattoos. Yeah, I, at that point I felt like I was gonna throw up. I was like, guy, you need to stop. <laughs> you, but you but you pushed. No, nah, I pushed through and I made it. Yeah, That's one session got through everything. But I will say, like nine or ten times, if you meet a lot of guys, unless he has a massive back piece that covers all yeah. of it, dudes don't have tram stamps, and there's a reason why it hurts like hell. On a guy specifically, like there's certain spots at that spot. Even the guy tattooing me, he was like, he, 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 he left it until we were, were like mid session. And then he was like, yeah, I kind of wanted to tell you to move it higher, but I left it there because this is where you wanted. I was like, why didn't you tell me? He's like, oh no, because the spot hurts. <laughs> he was like, uh, it yeah. hurts. He's not yes. really, he's I was like, dude. Yeah, but not he wanted really. to do, like, he was, he was more for like making me happy. Cause like, I cause when we, when you put the sense on, I was like, okay, cool, check it out. Okay, I like it because they flow together, like they're swimming oh, yeah, up yeah, my back, yeah, basically. Yeah. So he's like, I really want to tell you to move it, but also see what you want to do. So I was like, I wasn't going to steer you away from it. And I appreciate that he at least wanted me to keep like the whole aesthetic that yeah, I wanted. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he should have also warned me, like, my man, it's like, yeah, make, it s make the fish a bit smaller so it doesn't cover yeah. your, like, it doesn't, doesn't hit your pelvis bone kind of thing, because it hurt. Nah, it was bad. Nice, good, <laughs> it was good. so bad. But, oh, you yeah. mentioned you're actually half Chinese, like half Chinese. Okay, no, not half. So. Actually, my grand, my my dad's half Chinese and half Indian. That's yes. kind of why I look like a Pakistani. But that's hilarious. I look like a lot of different. I've, I've heard. Yeah, you kind of women as like. Yeah. I was expecting to actually see you like in a much more Asian sort of. No. I mean, you, you look Latino. Like, you look yeah, Latino. I've heard I think it's the hair as well. Probably yeah, because I got braids now. But I've heard from many. So I one of my best friends. Latino. I'm gonna tell you a funny story. One of my best friends now lives in the U.S. Yeah. Right? She she's she's married and she's got two kids. 
she got married to a Haitian dude, but he's like, he's cool. He's like, he chills with anyone. He's not very fussy. And they came down like two years ago. Was two years ago. They came down about two years ago and I met her husband for the first time. And we clicked. And one day we were actually hanging out at their place when they were back here in P. And we were just talking. So I was like, you didn't see, like, you're, you're from America and you guys have, we have a lot of cultures down here, but you guys have way more there. Yeah, yeah, the, the cultural diversity yeah. is mad there. So I asked him, like, dude, I get told that I look like this and this and this all the time. Because, like, I've heard, when, when I have a certain kind of hair, and I don't shave my face, I look Mexican. When I shave yeah. my face and my hair's oh, long yeah. and loose, I, then I, yeah, I look Hawaiian. When my hair's tied up, like, I normally do, like, this whole top knot thing. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh, people like, yo, you look Japanese. Like, mm. I hear all these different things all the time. So I asked him, Edens, you squash, you settle it for me. What do I look like? He turns to me and looks me dead in the face and he's like, dude, if I took you to my Filipino friends, they would not know that you are not one of them. They would just think I found another Filipino guy. Yeah. <laughs> I was For like, real? what? For real like though. Yeah, yeah. He was like, oh, you, you like would just Because the last time I met you, I was like, oh, okay, Kevin looks colored. And then, yeah. then I saw the pictures you sent on the group, the headshot. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> See you're the like Asian. The Asian's pulling And I see you and I'm now. like, no, man. This, yeah. you know, you I can change it up whenever yeah, I feel like it. It's really weird. Because you know, like the people in the US, they're so fix not fixated, but like, if, if I come to you and I tell you, like, my heritage, they do that often. Like, they'll speak on the heritage, what their grandfather is. Yeah. And do you know what I mean? So that's interesting that, like, you can, like, what, people always assume with you, my bro. Like, always. You know what's weird? Mm. So I live I live in Parkside, which is a predominantly, like, Islamic area. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like, every two houses, like, there'll be us, and then my neighbor on both sides of us are both, they're all Muslim. And then, like, yeah. the people across are Muslim. But like three houses down, there'll be a Christian family, and then yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But it's predominantly Muslim. I, think I see Parkside. That's like when you come down Malaba side. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I oh, love them. They were, that's why we actually went to get the the food at. Uh, what's that place? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. That, that was Malaba basically. Yeah, that, that was, was Malaba. Fire. That was yeah. fire. But that's where we went to with the, when we were busy prepping for flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so that's where I live, and what's weird is that um, it used to annoy me, but I just it's just like. I, I, I misread it because people, it's just like a sign of respect kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because like, um, in South Africa mainly, for those who aren't watching from South Africa, for in South Africa mainly, when you speak to uh, mainly a Islamic male, mm -hmm. they would always call you Buddha. Mm -hmm. Right? It's like a, it's just like a thing. Like, mm -hmm. especially amongst the, 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 the brown people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially amongst the brown people. Like, anyone else would just address you by whoever you are. Like, they call you, like, Yusuf or mm -hmm. whoever yeah. you are. Yeah. Adil, call yeah, you by yeah, your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you were in one of the, if you were in the community, um, like, I mean, we're using an example of, like, a homeless person. So, like, if I walked into the spa near my house, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, like, one of the dudes are, like, wanting to ask me to give them money, they would be like, well, hello, Buddha, how is it, uh, you know, and it, it used to annoy me because I'm like, I'm the complete opposite of what you are. Like, I grew up <laughs> yeah, eating yeah. so much pork. Saying this to me is yeah, yeah, insulting yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. it's bad, dude. You need to understand. So, like I was explaining earlier, I grew up with a Chinese grandfather and an yeah, Indian yeah. grandmother. Bro, yes. I, I just... Yeah, so my dad is half Chinese and half Indian. Yeah. Like, growing up in that so kind of house, like, like, nothing India, is Indian halal. From, like... Like my India, granny India, is India. my granny is she from came Durban. Directly from India. She's, she's from Durban, so her parents were like, okay. they came on a boat. Oh, oh okay. And okay. you know it's it's messed up because like, <laughs> on both sides, my great grandparents from both sides were literally shipped here. Oh, <laughs> like, wow, <that's> <laughs> wow, like imported goods. Kind like of one of the things <laughs> actually can say that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like yeah. I, know I know for a fact my great grandparents and my dad's so like my my grandfather's parents were. They came here on a boat and my yeah, grandmother's... Yeah. You're very in touch with, like, your yeah. heritage and stuff, man. Like, yeah. you know about, like, you like do, where people came from and stuff. Yeah, th th that's the thing, because people ask a lot of questions. So, like, when they see me, like, people, like you said, people always take jabs and ask, like, but what are you, like, because I don't look like a normal person. What the Not a normal person, but, like, I don't look like every other guy, like, that you'd see around the block. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, my hair's always been, like, super straight all my life. So, like... Yeah, yeah. People are always like, oh, no, he's going to change. It's a hair for you, man. It kind of, yeah. like, makes you, you know, have a, a different um, look. look. Yeah. yeah, Probably, yeah. And I think it's also my complexion kind of thing. Because, like, apparently I'm a very specific complexion. And do white people also approach you? And, or do they yeah. just like this? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Listen to this. So one day, um, Candice went to go, um, she went to do wine tasting for, like, a while. So I'm like, yeah, yeah okay, I need to make this happen now. Mm -hmm. So... I find this place in PE. I'm like, cool, we can go and do it. Yeah, so like a surprise, we go to this place. She has no clue where we're going to. Yeah. We pull up at a, like a little wine farm in PE where yeah. this lady gives tours and everything. Where in PE? Is that in Thieskom. Okay, it's okay. legit. Okay, um, I see, I see. Yeah, Thieskom wines, guys, check them out. They're legit. You should really check them out. Sandra is awesome. But um, so we went there and we were the last couple to leave because like they had a few people there and they took us for a tour of the whole place. We went at a bad time because there weren't like any grapes and things growing, but they had mm -hmm. stuff to like show us. And at the end of the day, we were just having a conversation with the host because she was so nice. Like she was super friendly. Yeah, yeah. And 
we were talking, but like I could see this question is burning, mm. like you know, like she wants yeah. to ask, you like, see in her face. so, like, what are you actually? Hilarious. She like, and eventually she's just like, hey, listen, Natalie, just I'm sorry because you have like this very exotic look. What? Wow. Like what? Like, I was what wondering what the approach is because sometimes like, she you look. Yeah, yeah, she didn't yeah, make any. She didn't make any, she didn't make any assumptions, you. which was awesome because I thought she was gonna like assume something. So yeah. she's like, so like, can you just explain? Like, I'm sorry because you don't have a normal look. Like you have a very exotic and like kind of look. So can you explain like what do you mix? With? So I'm like, oh, uh, no, it's fine. I'm. No. She, she thought it was gonna take offense, but I was like, no, no, no. I'm actually yeah, cool. Yeah. You can, you can ask. So I explained to her, no, my granddad's Chinese, my granny, my grandmother's Indian, and my dad's like basically half and half and whatever. And she was like, oh my word, because you look Portuguese. Flat out. Whoa. That's what she what? said. I was like, that's, oh, that's a, that's a, a new one. one a new that's one for real. Yeah, yeah, you're to literally the, adding it to the list. Add the yeah. list of what I, what I apparently But do you even look Korean? You claim colored or no? Do you care? I do claim colored, yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Okay, makes sense. At least you claim. Because there's no mixed block on the forms when you sign. Yeah, <laughs> when you form yeah, 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 yeah. These are like mixed. Oh, Isn't there there's other. There's other. There's, there's always other. other. But I mean, like the other is normally for like, if you aren't what is like, because I mean, we Listed. only have a certain thing on the list. I mean, our, uh, the list is quite like, but it's like there's enough, there's mm. everything is there. Yeah. Mm. So there's like, there's white, black, Asian, Indian, colored, and yeah. then there's other. Other, yeah. So just, what else I, would I'd you be? I'd their minds. I'd literally just take Indian. Colored yeah. white, <laughs> just, just for the sake of literally just, just play, two or yeah, so, yeah. just two. Play with them like that. But that, I find it interesting, man, because like I don't know, like because colored people are obviously you know this combination, uh, quote yeah, unquote, yeah, of yeah. like all of these different. Because like my uncle always speaks on like the history of our people and whatever, mm. um, and just how the Malaysian slaves, because now yeah, me okay. being Muslim, yeah. So he speaks on like the Malaysian slaves and stuff, and how the Cape, uh, Cape Townians, the Muslim, yeah. the Cape what? Cape yeah. yeah. They call them Cape Malaysia. Oh, yeah. So how they came to be and stuff. The ones who make the... Colored people are they? Like... I, like yeah, I know. I've heard There's actually a... Li- I, okay. I've from, from Cape Malaysian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can't speak on that because I know in Cape Town there's like... Well... I don't really... I can't speak on Cape... I can speak on P though, but like... I don't know mm. if idols ever experienced this, yeah. but like... When I was in primary school... High school didn't really affect me because in high school, like, no one really cared much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but in primary school, there was yeah, like... Primary, everybody... There was like a... Mm. No, no, no. They were like, you, that's where you learned whether or not you'll survive the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Primary yeah. school Back, did ask, yeah, yeah. But like, what are the, one of the things that I experienced at the primary school that I went to was like, there was an actual, like, tearing process for... Yeah. Like... For colored people specifically. I think I know what you're gonna say and I you, agree. I, you I think yeah. you know you know they, they So like so like it doesn't matter. Like this is one of the things that bugged me the most about this tiering list, right? So I was in a speci- I was in a specific tier bracket of my own because I was a fair skinned boy with straight hair. Yeah. Mm. So like they put me in a block. But like the elite of the of the colored people list, it doesn't matter if you had hair like mine or hair like yours. If you had Eyes that were a different color, like if your eyes were like blue oh, yeah, or yeah, green, uh, you were like always top tier. Yeah. You were always I, I top tier. I also think that too. Yeah, it was it's like, like just. Like it's kind of like you can equate the, it to, to like being a cheese boy. Yeah, in yeah, a sense. yeah. Like oh, they, they oh, say, you only know, because you have different color, like a different set of eyes, yeah, but dog. like the straight hair and the eyes and the things, like certain aspects. If you that had both, look like you're from Western yeah. kind of. Yo, vibe. and like this is this is this is the part that was even more like weird for me. Is if like nine out of ten times if you met a colored boy and he had fair skin and he had straight hair and his eyes were green, for example, yeah, yeah. nine out of ten he was a Muslim boy. Mm. If you weren't a Muslim and you had that, yo, you were a unicorn. Yeah, <laughs> Legit, yeah. you were a yeah, unicorn. Yeah, yeah. And everybody like you like, <laughs> you like, like, like a magic orb. Uni- everybody just wants like, you around. Wait, his name is David? And he's got blue eyes and straight hair. They were like, yeah. What? That's yo, crazy. I mean automatically dude is like the most popular kid at school. Just but, like I don't that. I, I People like that, I don't feel like in walking like shorter, for example. You just stick Hell out. Hell no. Never. You stick out. <laughs> you I don't even walk in shorter. You could like not yeah. go anywhere remotely like actual hood. They yeah. would beat you senseless. <laughs> yeah, there it is. I heard that that, crazy. You know what I heard once? I heard that like, you know those flats? Um, you know where Imperial is now? Or not Imperial, but it's a butchery. And then there's a flat next door in Coast and Shorter. Yeah, I think so. Uh, sweet Connection. Oh, oh yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 the yellow flats. Yeah, yeah but yeah. like, I hear like, you, if you were a guy and you go see a girl, they, they jump you, like afterwards, just because they claim like, like the now women and shit. I don't know if it's in the in the day or back in the day or what, but like, I just remember it being like a thing. I was thinking, that's, right. that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Sounds like, right. I, I, I think imagine? I actually live. Cause imagine like, you get that, that also in like certain places in black communities where if oh, you're yeah. not from there, yeah. and you're macking a honey that's from there, you need to actually tell us you're macking the honey. Yeah. 
and which is kind of crazy. Imagine and you need like the stamp of approval. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's wild. You just know people in the area. I used to, like, I used to actually um, go out with the chick to uh, stay in near Parkside. Like you see the the, the spa at Galvondale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you turn left. And then, like the, the girl, she used to stay like like no, it's not like the rough part of Galvondale. Mm -hmm. Like you know, you see niggas mm. and they come through and they're like chicken. Oh yeah, they do that. Yeah, like they do do that. that. I'm driving yeah. a car. They, they used to actually think they lived with me. It's like, you know, the kids are sorry. Mm -hmm. It's like a, like what is it? It's a, it's a gangster, yeah. But like a gangster who predominantly just does heist. So they oh, okay, they okay, to okay. Because okay, I used yeah. to come through in a, in a golf, and they used to think, yeah, who's this? Who's this man? And like, mm. and they used to come through and they used to check out the car. Like, and I remember one time I parked the car and literally just walked to the shop just to see if anybody would approach me. And some mm. dudes were like coming to me, like, yo, bro. Like try to press you, or just like they they try to uh, press me, but mm. like I, if I get pressed, I I, I also press back. Yeah. Mm. I was like, bro, why are you asking me that? Now nah, you see me, man. You go there with the to the girl. I'm like, yeah, go there to the day. I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So it's kind of nah. But so that like, happens. That happens. Like I think they just need to secure their block, basically. Yeah. Like, know who's coming in yeah, and out, yeah, basically. Yeah. But, uh, but I've never heard it about those flats. But like I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I actually walk past those flats, and I feel like that. Does could that could possibly could happen? No offense to the, if you love it at flats, we just it's just yeah. something that I heard at some point in time. I don't know. Yeah, like co comment and let us know if it really does happen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Comment yeah. and let us know if it does happen because that's actually very interesting. I've never heard of it, mm. but I have heard of like um, it's just like shoulder in general. It's just that crazy place to be at. Uh, yeah, but that that I think is also like a segregation vibe because mm. as a colored person, you think okay, yo, I can't go to the location. I don't know my way around. I don't know what where the dangerous part yeah, of the yeah, location yeah. is. You get me? Yeah. So I think it's a similar situation for you guys, maybe no, because like you probably think okay, cool. If I go to Galvin, I need to go with a colored person that knows how like to operate in Galvin. I mean, way. I think it's a matter of like I know. I used to speak African, so if if I know what mm. they're saying, mm. I don't really you know because mm. I can literally explain myself. Oh, yeah, as to I why mingle, you, you know? Because yeah, yeah. I used to, I actually went to Galvin Day Primary for like a year. Oh, hectic. Oh, hectic. That was yeah. a, that's a, I was at the primary school. Like, oh, yeah. like, like I, my I whole primary school career. I told my mom to take me out because on Guy Fox. Oh, oh yeah. It's, oh, God. It's, oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. I, had, yeah. Yeah. Intense, yeah. I remember dudes that you were pressing me. I remember I was like yeah. seven dudes and I was just like standing in the corner. I'm like, yeah, bro, we're going to hate you now, bro. Yeah. We're going to cry. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> You know, it's funny about that. I was watching yeah, our other yeah. podcast and they were talking about basically what it was like in the USA most now mm -hmm. on, on uh, what do they call it? Um, no, it's Halloween for July. them, eh? No, it's yeah, 4th of July. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they talking about like Halloween, what they used to oh, do like with like the toilet you know. paper and all of that stuff. Meanwhile, yeah, the Owens used to take black shoe polish and chase you, maybe, through And oh, yeah, rub it on your face and stuff. That, that was, was like time, a regular... Was a there was a time people were just literally just, I want to say shitting in bags, but I'm going to just say shitting. Yeah, and then mm, tossing it, yeah. and literally they chase you. I'm mm. like, bro, you chasing people with a bag full of feces, and you yeah, want to? I, I was crazy. Mad. I saw the progression because, like, when I was at school, it, it started with like when people would. Like, it never ever happened to me, um, but I have seen it happen because, like, you in the school you were like safe, and the teachers would like chase the kids away, so you, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. we can leave now because the scoundrels are gone, basically. But it got to a point where scoundrels. yeah, no, that, like, <laughs> the and then it got to a point where like dudes. um yeah, no, the, the street dudes basically. Oh, yeah. It got to a point where like you know okay, so I don't know if it happens anywhere else in the country. If you if it does, please let us know. Yeah, but exactly, um, yeah. in in PE for yeah. specifically, yeah, yeah. they um when the, the build up to Guy Fox, which is the fourth or fifth of November, and it's around North, yeah. yeah, fourth or fifth of November. Whole week. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, yeah, the yeah. build up to that is they they take a a tire from a car, mm. a little tire, like a worn out one or whatever they do, and they attach it to like a I long piece of this. wire, yeah. and they set that thing on fire and they literally spin, it in, spin it in circles, like spin I've it. I've seen that in videos. I've never seen that like face to face. Uh, I've seen it in face to face so many yeah, times. I grew up in a rough part of Galvindale, so like that was a regular thing. Guy Fox, like two weeks before the time, it was happening, and I was like, chilling. I grew up in, well, we call it Beverly Hills. Oh, you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> real, <laughs> it's real out there. Yeah, it's really, really it's crazy rough out there. So like, the progression from when the guys would take shoe polish and like just smack you in the cheek or like mm. on the forehead or whatever and just give you like a little tap. But wasn't it like, like simultaneously like during the daytime they would smear my car or yeah. whatever? And then and the then nighttime then was like tire spinning. Guys, yeah. But then what, what was hectic or what, what got worse is where they would either like take water or something and they would like the leftovers of the tire that they burnt the night before kind of thing. Uh, they would get guys that are wild and thing, they would bro. get you with that like psh, and it's like, but the thing is, it's the hilarious. shoe polish you can wash out and like a mm. come, the tire. But the tire stuff that leaves stains, bro. And like that shit gets into your eyes, like you're blind. Yeah, Guy Fawkes traumatized a lot of people. Blind. 
Yeah. yeah. It got worse and worse yeah. as time went on, but like by the time it got worse, I wasn't at, I wasn't in high school or anything anymore. But um but it was I, bad. Before we like can I just ask, do you think it's why did they do that? Why did they like no why tire? Is it for I've because they couldn't get like I've you know, no the two hundred rand uh, yeah. box of I have no clue what I don't even know where the tradition started. Like it just came out of nowhere. I actually yeah. tried to literally research about it. Apparently, it's about a guy called Guy Fox who. No, that's oh, a yeah. story about the Roman yeah, Church the in like really Italy or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's oh. a real story. Like yeah, yeah. so. Um, so it doesn't they, really align. The reason why we. Ex- nah. The reason why. That's, we, what, that's my theory that they couldn't afford. Like we couldn't. We could just yeah, buy the, so. the five rand, ten rand ones, fifteen rand ones at the shop and whatever. Yeah. But they wanted to make it go big and whatever. So they probably started spinning tires. I don't know. I have a mess up story about Guy Fox. So I was in. I was like early stages of high school, could have been like grade eight, grade nine. Yeah. And I had one of my cousins, like one of his friends from church. He lived not far from where I stay or where I was gro- where I grew yeah. up in, in Beverly Hills and stuff. Yeah. And there's a school named Rufain Duncan. It's a primary school. And right next to the school there's like this massive open patch of grass. But it's oh, like Oh, I hill. know yeah, the the park near there's a yeah, park. There's yeah, a park yeah. there and it's like a basketball court on the other side and like a oh, little yeah. jungle gym yeah, type yeah. thing. Yeah. So there's this massive hill that you have to walk over to get to the other side of the area. But it's it's because the school's fence, yeah, but yeah. it's quite a big hill. And nine out of ten times when the guys were swinging tires, it would happen on that hill, right? And you literally have to. So you can like, yeah. but the thing is, the distance like it's literally like twenty meters from my granny's front gate. So like I could just stand in my granny's yard and just watch the chaos. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm uh, this one particular night I missed it, but I heard about it the next day when I was at my granny's house. So I can't remember this dude's name, but him and these guys were swinging tires and stuff. So normally when the guy who ever swinging the tire. Because you're swinging it and swinging it and swinging it, you can't see where yeah, you're at because there's so yeah. much smoke around you. You don't have you have no clue if you're even moving at all because you can't see anything. And there was this group of guys that were swinging this tire, and as they normally don't like just they don't put it down nicely, kind of thing. They just let it go. Yeah. You just swing, 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 and you just fling oh, it. Like, yeah. You know, like when the dudes do the thing with the chain with the ball in the end in the Olympics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's the same principle. So they're swinging this <laughs> thing, swinging it, swinging it, and this guy lets go. Yeah. And this guy who went to my cousin's church, I think caught him flat in the face. face. And it was still on like, fire. Dude, this thing was like inferno, f- like, and it oh, caught him in the face. He, he went f- falling onto his back on the ground. And then like, he had like bad scarring like over the one side of his face. So like, as much as it's entertaining to watch it, because I mean, when you're in the hood, it's like, yeah. yeah. Yo, they're burning tires. Oh, let's go check it out. We yeah, go yeah. like, like even watch me, it. I was so sheltered, but like I got used to kind of just standing on the corner, hands in my pockets, and watching just watching go insane. Stuff. And yeah. stand and see what's going yeah. on. Yeah. yeah, you know when to run away. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know. As as so, you okay, know it's time to go now. Well, but it's crazy though. Like, yeah. Do you, know, do you know? Did you know the dude? I knew, I, I can't remember oh, his name, but I did. Oh no, he's hundreds now. Like we were like we were young when it happened. So like he's obviously had time to like heal from it, and like he still has scarring. Dude, like when the guy let it go, it was like full on, like in his face, and he just went, he fell to the ground, and then obviously that's where that ended. But like, there's some serious danger. Like guy, guy guy Fox pulled up. Stay home, bro. I I told my mom, hey, they they pressed me this one day. Me, I'm never going back to Governor Primary. That's cool. I understand (laughs) you. Wait, so uh, when were you there? Do you remember like when? I was which year. 2004. I might have been gone by then already. I was there for grade. I don't know. I was Lama's primary, okay. Seven years. Yeah, I was trying to think because we just moved to a local from Aquasa like, Kelly, where I got the star, mm. to, to North End. And then I was around 2000 and. I think 2005, four, between those years, yeah. Mm. Ah, 2005, yeah, 2005, because we moved. So we actually, we came from Kwasakhele, then we moved to North End. What grade were you in? I was in grade one. Oh, crazy. So literally, those guys pressed me. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I know, dude, it's intense. This is yeah. crazy. And it is and, no and joke. Everyone, and kind of people are quite aggressive when it comes, when they actually roll in packs. Yeah, yeah. Wolfpack yeah. thing. And you're yeah. like, you can't even press one, too. Because like, I'm always thinking, like, if I see a group of people coming, mm. like, yeah, I could at least take five people here. <laughs> you know? The ladies. But like, with colored people, I'm like, yeah. You can just knock one of them, like hit one of them, like really hard, and the dresser is gonna. Yeah. But we do come in droves. Yeah. Like some are called copper now from uh, across the road to come. Oh yeah, out yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like it just, bruh, it yeah. pops off. He he's like waiting for something to happen. He's waiting to just see you. Yeah. Like yeah. he's over his wall. He's on the way. He's <laughs> obviously <laughs> like a positive to it. Like if you get robbed or something, and yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like the guys community. will help you. Yeah. Yeah. Community thing. But for the guy who's who tried to rob the guy who called them, yeah, it's not a good look. Yeah, it's, it's mm. They're gonna beat you the hell up. Easily. I actually had a, a question. I spoke about it ads. 
It's like a totally unrelated topic. We can wrap up after this, Nick, because we mm-hmm. can make time. So I had this. like, just like on a, since I see your ladies here, right? Um, mm-hmm. So I had like a friend. And they oh, we ladies. And he, started, he started dating this colored guy, like a colored girl, right? The closer guy. Yeah, closer guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out, yams. Yeah, <laughs> And then <laughs> just expose him like that, but okay. Yeah, no, okay. it's my nigga, bro. He's like, tell him, I was like, yeah, bro, don't okay. do that again. But anyways, yeah. No, so but they like texting. I'm gonna bleep it if he's like, no. Nah, if he's, he's like, cool, man. Yams is cool. Okay, bro. okay. So Yams yeah, is like, hey, bro, I like this girl, but hey, she she crazy, man. She's she seems a bit rude. Yeah. Like, why would why then why are you cuffing her if that's the case? Yeah. She's like, she has a good vibe, and like, oh, he's like, yeah, but can you like try and mag her? Could you please like try and go after her she's and see what she does. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, why would you ask me that, bro? Like, why would you even really ask your friend that? That is, yeah. Another crazy part is, I think if I really asked her, she probably would have said yes. And I'm like, Damn. I'm like, bro, don't even, do, don't even put me in positions like that, though. So like, I just think, with dating, mm-hmm. like, do you date for the sake of? I don't know how I can phrase the question. Like to be in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I wanna, I'm dating you because like I want. I'm dating you. Date for like marriage, yeah. basic type. Right? Yeah, like yeah. right now, especially yeah. yeah. Uh, like I'm like I'm I'm gonna settle down. Yeah. I'm I'm getting and old. That's why I don't like think we should even phrase up. the question like that because yeah. Gary is like with Candice now, and it's probably you know it's going the distance. It's yeah. gonna make the distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm. but like before that type vibe, like on some casual yeah. things. Like, I'm I'm different. Well, I'm not like I'm. Uh, I would say I'm different. I mean, I'm sure I don't know the same. It's like if you're in a relationship with somebody, you're in a relationship with somebody. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. But it's like. I've, I've 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 been where you were though, and that was it's weird. And I was I immediately said no. I was like, I know. I'm it's kind of crazy. Like, like, why would you even date somebody but you don't really trust them like that? You know, because yeah. you should just keep it casual if that's the case. You know, you're making me think about I've been in this situation more than once. So bad. So it's it's a common thing. What afraid. like being approached by? No, no, no. Man. Okay, I'll 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 I'll, I'll mm-hmm. make it as short as I can because it's yeah. only got like three minutes. I'm like as short as I can. So this one time, I have this one friend. I'm not gonna mention names because they'll, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about if I yeah, mention yeah, names. Yeah, yeah. But do you remember? Do you remember? You might not remember, but I think you all remember. Do you remember when like Tuesday nights at the bridge used to pop off like crazy? We yeah, always would chill there. Yeah, oh, that's the shit. The best time yeah. of life. <laughs> so there was this one time, right? I was hanging out with this group of friends, and my friend and, and he had a girlfriend at the time, but we were like in high school. Like this was like grade ten. Let's call it grade ten. And I'm like, oh yeah, man, what's up? I don't know. And the thing is, it's weird. He asked me specifically because he had all these other friends. Yeah, and yeah he turns yeah, to yeah, me. Yeah. He's like. Listen, man, just, yeah. Probably because you, chill. you don't chill there, as like, we established the most exotic. No, no, not even that. He just kind of like told me to like, he's he's going to be back in a second. Just like hang with his girlfriend until he comes back. So I'm like, okay. Oh, wow. And you, from the so get-go, like, like, so No, not really. I'm just like, okay, cool, whatever. And then like, we just all hanging in this particular part, but he's been, he's been gone for like half an hour. I'm like, I wonder where he is. And she's like, yeah, let's go and have a look and look. So we oh. walk just to go see where this dude is, it's and a we setup. Yeah. and we catch him like just chilling somewhere. And I'm like, bro, what the hell? Like, why did you just leave us? He's like, oh no, sorry, man, I got distracted. I was gonna come back now. Later on, I asked him, I was like, dude, what was that about? Like, be real with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. Mm. He's like, now I went to see if she was gonna try you. I was like, bro, why? Why would like, you do that? He doesn't trust her. Later on in life, a couple years later, I was at a friend's birthday party at like another friend's house. Yeah. So we all chilling. And then another friend, I'm not, again, I'm not gonna mention any names, but literally was like, hey Kev, do me a favor, just keep my girlfriend company, I'll be back in a second. He leaves, actually physically leaves yeah. the party. So I'm like, okay, cool. I've never, I, I've, I'm meeting this chick here for the first time yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, cool, fine. Hey, so we like try to make conversation with her, eventually it dies because like, I don't know you. And she's like, I don't know you either. And like the energy's not even there. So like eventually that. I'm like, I see another female. I'm like, hey, listen, would you mind just kicking it off? I'm gonna go and you know do whatever. Yeah, yeah. Turns out it was exactly the same thing again. Where it's like we just like find like the pretty boy, put him there and oh, see what happens, kind of thing. Uh, I was like, God, see, experimental see, type shit. See the effects of being a pretty yeah, boy. Yeah. I hate it. We'll have another episode about that, but I hate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's crazy though. Like, yeah, it's insane. It, I think for me it's kind of different. I, I thought it was just crazy approaching somebody to actually, yo, like, yeah, like, yeah. do me a favor, oh, like, I was like, bro, like to this day I'm like, bro, you know you actually, you know, it's a bit weird. Just leave. It's like, you know, it's a bit weird. Mm. And the crazy part is the girl, she's wild, man. She, 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 <laughs> she bit me once. She like, physically bit like, you? Like, she bit me once. Like On some playful, ha, ha, ha. No, and some they were fighting. When she was, like, pulling out knives and stuff. And I'm like, damn. Oh. I'm like, oh, Where is she from? She's Scarlet, bro, so she's she, representing. She's, she's, yeah, she's, I think she's also from Galvindale. I still okay, work will oh, Shout out to her. Shout out. I have no one to mention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't name. Um, no, I won't. But, like... Um. She's cool though, but she gets wild when she's wild. Like mm. she really gets wild. 
But I don't know. I find it interesting. Like even when I like when I date, I feel like the person that I'm with, I just trust. You just kind of know you mm. can trust this yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've never been in a situation where it's like I, I trusted this person so much and then they betrayed me in that sense. Yeah. Like really, you know, like cheating yeah. and stuff. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah. It's just like you just know, bro. Ah, it's weird. Yeah, I get that. But like, I'm just like, why would you date somebody that you don't even trust? Them? Yeah, like in the back yeah, of your mind, you're like, uh, saying, bro. you know, yeah. it's like, don't even. Because if, if, if it feels off, then it's probably off, bro. Mm -hmm. Don't even approach it. Mm -hmm. So just to even ask your friend. Like, you trust know? your gut vibe. Yeah, no, yeah, I would never do that. Though. I was like, I was actually thinking, because you, you, you've done some weird stuff. Whoops. That's my friend, though. Uh, stop. That's my friend. Are we? Yeah. Like literally cutting it off. That's, That's okay, it but we can like wrap episode. it up for now. I feel like we had a